Phantom. 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 See what I'm saying? And welcome back once again to Iron Man Darts. I'm Dave, Iron Man Darts on Graham board. And today I'm playing Cricket Count Up under the practice option on the game, on the app. But I'm practicing with six darts. And the reason I do this is the first three darts will count in the game, but it helps me with muscle memory. It also helps me refocus and get the reps in. I really believe in reps. For example, if you're an adult dart player who started late in life, kind of like myself, I started four and a half years ago, and I've really made an effort, an intentional effort to get better at this game by catching up on my reps, meaning I throw more than I need to. I'm going through practice sessions. I'm working on certain things over and over again to make up for the years I haven't played. And sometimes I play with six darts, or at least practice with six darts, because I want to get twice as many throws in as usual. I know there is some downside to that because you never throw six darts in a match, but I want to get that the strokes in. I want to throw as often as possible and get that arm to catch up. You know, the old 10,000 hour rule. Well, I feel like I'm behind, so if I can double my darts, I'm going to double my experience and my, my muscle memory on the throw. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to practice with my 20. Cricket count up. Now I got a marker. So that not much, not good, but now I can go again and you can't see this, but triple 20, triple one and triple 20. I wish I could show you that, but you can't see it. So I'm going to go again. Now I'm going to work on 19s. Same kind of thing. First three are kind of like the warm up targets. Got it. Got it, and just above. But now I've got it, I'm gonna keep on going at it to catch up on the, the muscle memory. Two more singles and one more triple. So this video really is just to reinforce the need to get your reps in. And I suggest practicing with six darts. You save the time of walking back to the line and you're getting more reps in. Ouch. And the last three were a triple and two singles. This also is good because you are having success most likely, because let's say your, your first three darts weren't where they wanted to be, but now you're relaxed. Now you can throw easier because the pressure is off and you can hit those numbers. And even though they don't count, they count up here in the memory that never goes away that yes, I can hit that triple. I can hit two triples after I've missed my, uh, my first three darts, but I can do it and I do it because I'm practicing with six darts. The first three, ah, okay, now I'm really zeroing in, boom. I hit it, I hit it. Now you're, you're, uh, you're banking that memory, that success memory that you can hit the numbers. So there's, a, there's more positives that I think than negatives on practicing with six darts. You become a machine. One downside, uh, two singles and a triple. One downside of playing with six darts is that it gets crowded and some darts will go on the ground because you're hitting, if you're hitting successfully and good grouping, you're bound to hit something. Usually it's my six dart that usually bounces off something if I'm doing what I meant to do. All right, now six teams. Again, score doesn't matter so much. It is the reps. triple seven, <laughs> seven, and a triple sixteen. So again, if you could see these, these are in that type of a, a grouping, and that's where you can overthrow, meaning you're throwing more than usual, and getting that memory. So next time you're going, 
you've done it. Or this is something else. What you can do is you throw a phantom dart to begin with. So you have three darts. Go up there and stroke it once, then pick your dart up, and now you're into a rhythm. Or go twice. Boom. Boom. Take a dart. Actually, your first dart is your third dart. Now you're going again and again. And now you're relaxed and you can, you know, dig into that memory bank. Oh, I've hit that. So for example, let's say you have three darts. I'm going right here. Triple 15. Got it. Triple 15. Got it. That's fine. But now look, I'm just, that's triple 15 finally. And a single 15. But that's the idea is that you can go through, visualize, physically go through the motions. And I'll try it again here on the bowl. You have three darts in your hand. Three darts in my hand right here. Bowl. Hit it. Grab. Hit it. Grab. Hit it. Grab. Grab. A little high. A little high. Either way, that's the idea of getting your reps in. And I got one free throw. I'm just going to go for 20s. Okay. Phantom. 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 See what I'm saying? Three phantoms and I get a seven mark because I'm going through those motions. So this is the same thing, kind of thing that you can do with six darts, not three. You've doubled your reps. You've got in more practice than someone who just goes through three darts. You've saved all that walking around time. And if you start doing the phantoms, phantoms, boom, you hit what you want to hit. Because earlier in the practice session, you did three real ones and then you're relaxed. And then you hit those triples that didn't count. You hit those triples, but they counted up here. And you know you can do it. Confidence, playing darts, is a big advantage over your competition. And a big advantage for you, feeling good, going into it, having fun. When it's fun, it's easy. When it's easy, more often than not, you win. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Throw them straight, and uh, we'll see you next time. Adios.